Hi there, welcome back to another video. This is yet another Lightroom tutorial. We're getting those Lightroom tutorials out fast and furious today. Okay, picking your photos, highlighting them and marking your favorites that you like in Lightroom. So you've gone out on a shoot, you've got 50 photos, you now wanna fly through your catalog and pick the ones that you really like, the, mwah, that you really think are the best best of the best so I'm sure they're all great but you want to narrow it down to those 10 bangers that you want to put out on Instagram so there's a real quick way of doing it just with using one button and it's dead quick so let's jump into Lightroom and have a look okay so welcome to Lightroom I've got a few photos here that I took um, this will probably be a couple of years ago now. Uh, none of them are picked. They're all uh, just no, um, there's no flags, there's no rating, there's no um, colors or anything on here. So I'm gonna quickly gonna show you how with a few keys you can very simply highlight your favorites. So the way I do it is I make sure I am on the full screen. So we are going to single photo view and we're going to click on the first photo in the catalogue. Now we're going to fly through these really quickly and I will show you one thing to press to set up before you start. If you come up to blah 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 blah, if you come up to photo, make sure this auto advance option is ticked. And what that will do is you can have your right hand on your mouse, your left hand on your keyboard, and you can just press P to flag the photo. You see we've got a flag here now, but what it also does, because we mark that auto advance box, it goes on to the next image. So you don't even have to worry about clicking on the next image. Do you like that one? If you don't, you can either leave it or you can press X to reject it. Now I tend to, I'm going to just quickly undo that. I tend to have um, my fingers on the um, the P and the arrow right button so that if I like one I hit P if I'm not sure I arrow right not sure arrow right not sure arrow right yep I like that one press P and it automatically moves to the next one yep like that one and it automatically moves to the next one and so on and you can fly through your catalog really really quickly just picking the images that you like with a flag and it's just a real quick way of we're just going to get through these really quickly my gosh I like all of these I don't like that one mm. 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 so we're going to go through these real quick uh, no we don't like that one we don't like that one and that's just my little boy wow look how young he is there okay so we've highlighted these images now um, and you can now, if you go to the menu bar just down here, you can now filter on just the ones that you've picked. Just by clicking on the flag. So we have now got the ones that we have just flagged by pressing P. Or you can filter on the ones that are left and just make sure we take the flag off and we just leave the middle one on. And these are the ones with no flags. I'm just gonna reject a couple. Um, and we can also flick on the black flag or the reject flag and that will show you the ones you rejected just in case you want to change your mind or double check you've not rejected the wrong one so once you've done all that if you make sure all the flags are unticked it will leave you with all of the photos in your catalog you go to the grid view and you can see here the ones that you like because they've got a flag the ones you're not sure about have no flags and the ones you've rejected are slightly grayed out so it's instantly obvious which ones you've rejected so that's using p if you pick one that you are not sure about or you want to change let's go back to full view if you want to remove the p and you want to unflag it you just press u and that will take the flag off so that will now be in your filter with no flags on so we've gone back to the full 
we've gone back to the full catalogue now with all of the photos. So that is a real easy way of picking them really quickly. You don't have to go into any menus. It's just P, arrow, P, arrow, or X if you want to reject, or U if you want to unflag it. So even if you've X'd one by mistake, you can go back to it and press U, which will remove that rejected flag. So that is a real quick way of picking them. And that's what I do first of all. If I've got a batch of photos from a shoe, I throw them into Lightroom and I just go through them real quickly, P, 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 blah, 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 to get through the Lightroom with the ones that I think have got potential. And that just basically weans out all the rubbish. Uh, once I've done that, I filter on my flag photo. So these are now the ones that I wanna keep and I wanna work on. And if there is something in here that I think has got real good potential, you can rate it with numbers one to five. So let's say we think that's really good. We give it five stars. And again, because we've got this auto advanced option ticked, it goes on to the next photo. Or we can also do it here, five stars, and it goes on to the next photo. So once we've gone through and picked all the ones, you can star them, rate them at any, any star rating you like, we can then filter it again even more. So we can then have flags on and only five star. So now we have just picked the real creme de la creme of the bunch. These are the ones that not only do you like, but you've given them a five star rating and you wanna edit these and get these out for the world to see. So you can do that, you can edit those now and you can put them wherever you want, your website, Instagram, get them out there. One thing I found that's a little bit complicated, and there might be another whole video coming on this, is to know which ones I've actually put on Instagram in the first place. You've got a massive catalogue here and I'm forever going back looking for another photo that I might want to share or I want to keep that Instagram feed going so I dip back into another another photo, another library, an, or an old catalogue from a year ago or something and just pull out an image that maybe I like now that I didn't like then. Um, but how do I know that I haven't already shared that? So there's a couple of ways you can do it and I'm just going to use this as an example to show you how or to show you another option in the in the flagging and rating and highlighting um, uh, possibilities. So not only can you flag them, not only can you star them, but you could also color them. So we have here the color ratings or color labels, and you can carry on with the numbering. Now we've run out of numbers here when it gets to purple. So we've obviously got zero to five for the rating. You've got the open and close square brackets here if you wanted to just increase it incremental, one, two, three, four, five, etc. Um, but you can also hit six, seven, eight, and nine for colors. So let's say you wanted to, everything you were gonna put on Instagram, you were gonna rate as, uh, let's say green, what, what number was green? Seven, no, eight. So we can now say, right, I'm gonna share this one and I'm gonna share this one to Instagram because they are the ones that I really think are, are good. So you can now go back into your grid view, take off all of your filters, and we can see here that you've got kind of different stages. You've got flagged or rejected, they're the ones you like. You've then got five star, they're the ones you really like, and then you've got green, which are the ones that you think are amazing that you've put out to Instagram, and you know now know that if you went back in a year's time and it was green, you'd know that you've shared that to Instagram. Uh, so let's do the filtering again. So let's say we want to find all the photos that we've put to Instagram. We filter it on green. There we go, that's done. Now obviously they're flagged and starred as well, but how people do their rating and their cataloging and their um, their sort of library um, organization. It's all different, it all, it's all what works for different people. This is how I do it. I sometimes use keywords because um, I might share things for different reasons at different times. Um, that's a whole nother video. But this is just a quick way of showing you the shortcuts to 
highlighting your, your pictures, rating them, coloring them, so that you can easily find what you're looking for. So a real quick recap, once you've got all of the images in your library, what I do is I hit P for to pick the photos or X to reject the photos. If I do something wrong, it's a U to take that flag off. I have the auto advanced option ticked so that when I hit the P or the U, it automatically goes on to the next one. I have, um, I use stars. So once I've highlighted the ones I kind of like, I then go through them again and give them a five star rating. So I know the ones that I really like and the ones that I end up sharing out, I color. So by anything I do there, whether it be the flagging, the starring, the coloring, the auto advance button always flicks it onto the next image in the library. So there's no having to, uh, well, I'll show you if we take um, auto advance off, if I was to now pick this one, it stays on that image and I'd have to go on to the next one myself. It stays on that image. Whereas, like I say, if that auto, I'm going to put it back on. Ba -ba. So if that auto advance button is ticked, pick it onto the next one. You can see down the bottom here, pick it onto the next one. Uh, reject it onto the next one. And you can just get through 100 photos real quick. So that's it. Another quick tutorial, little tip there that you may not have realized using keyboard shortcuts rather than scrambling around with a mouse. I hope you found that useful. Um, thank you for making it this far. As I always say, thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. There's going to be a lot more stuff coming your way. I'm going to go out in the field. I'm going to take some pictures of the wonderful autumn scenery in the new forest, something like these that we've seen from last year, but I'm going to try a few different things. The best thing you can do, as I've said before, is just hit that like button for me. I just know that I'm on the right direction. I'm doing something that people are appreciating. And leave me a comment if you want to, if you want me to show you something or if you can tell me something I don't know. I'm all for learning. So that's it. Do it. I love you. Let's see you in the next video and take care. Bye. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you.